Planning on going to EDC Las Vegas, but you're not sure where to stay? Stick around as we look at some of the best hotels for EDC Las Vegas. What's up? It's Joe and I'm your rave tour guide. And today we're talking about the best hotels for EDC Las Vegas. The Electric Daisy Carnival is one of the largest EDM festivals in North America. Originally from Southern California, the massive rave moved to Las Vegas in 2011 and has been a staple in the Las Vegas economy since then. Attracting hundreds of thousands of headliners from across the globe, Las Vegas is well equipped to handle all the ravers coming to town. So where should you stay if you're going to EDC Las Vegas? Find out in today's video. Now let's go rave. Hotel number one, Paris, Las Vegas. Man, this is a great hotel and here's why. Uh, first off, it's got a great location right there on the center strip. You're really close to a lot of the action in Vegas, especially if you're looking for that experience where you can walk the strip, you know, go to the fountains, uh, you know, bring drink one of those huge uh, long yard things, right? Uh, second, it's a Caesars property, so if you're a Caesars reward member, this is a great option for you. You might get discounts, you might even be able to uh, earn additional points. And if you're new to Vegas, say you're going to your first EDC, if possible, start signing up for rewards. Purchase your hotel, book your hotel using your rewards numbers because trust me, you're going to keep going back to EDC. You might as well start earning points, start earning discounts. A uh, third reason why Paris Hotel is a great uh, hotel for EDC Las Vegas is that it's about a 10 minute walk to the mid strip shuttle. In 2021, when we were staying at the Paris, we could just get off the shuttle and walk straight to the Paris Hotel and we would take the back roads. And the cool thing is, is that there's actually a hidden back door where we were walking by and I saw employees coming out of the door to smoke. And I said, oh my gosh, I know where that leads. And so I'll post a picture here of where you can find this back door. But if you're coming from the mid strip, you'll come up this street and you'll enter in through these doors. And trust me, it's tip they are open like they were unlocked. Um, and it, you can tell it's a place for employees to smoke because there's little uh, little chairs. There's like an ashtray. And once we found that out, we were inside of our rooms within 15 minutes from getting off the shuttle. And I loved that. What did I not love about Paris is the CNF tax that they have at food establishments. So either at Mon Ami Gabi or Alexa's or Beer Park, the CNF fee is a concessions tax, right? That they get that they put on for tourists. And then they don't disclose it to you verbally, so it's on the menu, but it is optional. However, to have it removed from your bill, you have to notify your server. So not a huge fan of that, but if you do decide to stay at Paris for EDC, that's something to think about. Before we talk about hotel number two, I want you to make sure you consider how you're getting to EDC in where you choose your hotel. Are you gonna drive to EDC? Are you taking a ride share? Will you be taking the shuttle? Will you be walking? I don't recommend that. But how you're going to get to EDC certainly will play a role in your decision. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Paris is a great hotel for shuttle passes because it's right next to the mid strip. And I, I stayed there before and we did have a shuttle and I loved the experience. It was great. I would highly recommend. So hotel number two is the Link Hotel. Man, this is a great hotel, and there's a few reasons why I think it's a great hotel for EDC Las Vegas. Right. So Link is a very budget-friendly hotel. It's one of the most affordable hotels on the Strip, especially for its location. You know, for the price, the location is amazing. So if you're looking for a super fun Las Vegas experience, but you're on a budget, and you know, maybe you're getting a room with like six or seven of your friends, trust me, I know. This is a great hotel to do that. Now, in addition, not only does it have, you know, really affordable, it's got a great location. Their guest pool is basically a pool party. This pool is their, basically their guest pool, but they have a DJ there and it's free to go. So, and they have a bar, excuse me. So it's basically a day club, um, but it's free. 
But most of all, the biggest plus for the link is the link promenade. There are dozens of different restaurants, dozens of different shops. Of course, there's even the link high roller and this cool sugar store, the Love Sugar store, where they have a really cool candy martini bar on the second floor. It's really fun and you know got all the colorful candies and cocktails that you can choose from. And that's a big plus for the link. So if you're under 21 you know, and you're with your friends and you're still looking for a fun place to hang out, the Link Promenade is great for that because you can still do the high roller, you can do all the uh, the shops, you can eat at the restaurants there. There's even an in and out so that's super affordable. And it's a great place to hang out and just chill in between the festival days. Now, I want to talk a little bit about the cons for the Link Hotel. Now, first and foremost, these hotel rooms have really thin walls. So you can hear the elevators opening, you can hear people walking, you can hear people partying. So just keep that in mind. While it is affordable, you're kind of getting what you pay for uh, in, your, in the stay, right? The second con to the Link Hotel is that it's a party basically 24 seven. So keep that in mind if you choose to stay at the Link Hotel. Finally, I did mention that the pool is basically a pool party. So if you're looking for a pool that's more relaxing, this might not be the hotel for you. Hey guys, wanted to take a second in this video to kindly ask if you're finding value in this video to go ahead and smash that like button down below. It'll really help distribute this content throughout YouTube and put it in front of more ravers just like you. And for more videos just like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. All right, now let's get back to this video. Now, hotel number three, Resorts World Las Vegas. Wow, this is a great hotel for uh, those looking for a more higher end experience, more luxurious, um, more fancy, of course, with all the amenities, the Resorts World has it all. Now, the number one reason why you might wanna stay here for EDC Las Vegas is it's a VIP hotel. And I'm talking DJs, influencers, uh, media, employees, this is the hotel. You know it's the hotel because they have an uh, exclusive shuttle pickup for the VIPs. And uh, the reason why I know this is because you can see on all people's YouTubes. And of course, when you're at Resorts World, you can see official Insomniac uh, branded signs that are kind of directing the VIPs. Oh, okay. The second reason why Resorts World is great for uh, that week, for EDC weekend, is the food, right? The food court Famous Eats is awesome. Oh my gosh. Like the ability to choose from so many different stalls, talking over a dozen different places to choose from, most of them Asian. Now there are other, you know, there's like a fried hot chicken place. Uh, there's, you know, barbecue, I believe as well. So it's not just Asian food, but they have a lot of food there to choose from. They also have a speakeasy. So it's like a little cat place. So definitely want to check that out if you stay at Resorts World. Uh, number three reason to stay at Resorts World are the day clubs. Now, these day clubs are brand new, Resorts World being a hotel that just opened within the last uh, year and a half or so. These day clubs are really popular with some big names like Tiesto, Zed, DJ Snake playing at these day clubs. If you're looking for a party and you're looking for more high end, more luxurious, fancy, this is the hotel here for you. Now, Another good reason why this is a great hotel is because you're basically there and at EDC the whole weekend. You know, if you're at Resort World, you don't have to leave. You can just stay there to eat. You can stay there to party. And then you can take, you know, your ride share or drive up to the Speedway, which is pretty close since it's um, on the north side of the Strip. Now. Now the cons here at Resorts World, the thing of course is it's a little pricey. So if you're looking for something more budget friendly, Resorts World might not be the uh, hotel for you. Obviously, if you're looking for something luxurious and you wanna ball out and you wanna treat yourself, I encourage you to do so. Uh, another con to Resorts World is the food can be pricey. While it is a food court, the food is actually fairly expensive for a food court. So do just be cautious when it comes to uh, eating and getting a bunch of different food because next thing you know, you're spending $40 for just you, right? Guilty. <laughs> Third con for Resorts World is that it's pretty far from other Las Vegas landmarks. So it on the north side of the Strip, uh, 
and it's far from pretty much everything else. So, hotel number four, the Vidara Hotel. This is one of my favorite hotels in Las Vegas. I recently stayed here at the Vidara for EDC 2022 uh, with my wife. We were celebrating our six month wedding anniversary during EDC weekend. Now, here's why I really loved the Vidara. Now, number one, they had an in-room kitchenette with a fridge, it had a dining table. It was essentially a condo for EDC on the strip. I loved that. Uh, number two, they had a 24 seven cafe that honestly we ate at every day. It was pretty good. I, I was really, really pleased uh, knowing that we had that cafe um, all night, any time of the day, I could depend on it even when I came back home at like four o'clock in the morning. And what I also really loved about Vidara was that it was close to the Cosmopolitan and the Bellagio Hotel. Those were two of my favorite hotels to basically hang out when I'm you know, here in Las Vegas. Uh, I love Cosmopolitan for their food that they have there at Block 16. They have this place called Bang Bar. It's one of my favorite restaurants to eat at, at the Strip. Shout out to David Chang. And they also have Egg Slut there. And when we're in Vegas, uh, we have to get Egg Slut. I love, love eating their breakfast. So uh, another reason why the Vidara is a great hotel for EDC Vegas is it's a really cool, chill pool. Like when we wanted to just relax after day one and after day two, we knew we can go to the pool there and it wasn't like super loud. It wasn't like a huge party. And yes, I'm sounding kind of old, but this is the experience that, you know, I'm currently looking for. And that's why I put Vidar as one of the best hotels was that there was no casino. So if you're you know, want that really chill experience where it's just like, hey, we're going to EDC and then going back to the hotel and relaxing, this is it for you because there's no casino and there's no slots, there's no tables. But it just depends, that might be a con for you. So, so let's get to the cons of the Vidara. And as I mentioned, there's basically nothing else at the hotel. It's just a place to stay, place to eat, and your home base if you you know when you're going all to to all the other places in Las Vegas. And the biggest con for staying at the Vidara was that you have to park at the Bellagio or at the Aria Hotel, and that sucked because basically whenever we wanted to go anywhere, we had to walk like 15 to 20 minutes uh, to get to the parking lot. Um, just to get the car and then when we got back we had to park there and then we had to walk back to the hotel so that was the biggest con for me at the vidara if you're staying mostly in ride shares or you didn't even have a car then you're not even going to have this issue but if you have a car this is something you want to keep in mind now finally in this last hotel for this video we're talking about the luxor now i say one of the best hotels for last first and foremost it's one of the most affordable uh, hotels on the Strip. Uh, second, it's got some really cool amenities uh, when you're inside. I mean, who doesn't like being inside of a pyramid? Like, that's really cool. And then, of course, the pool parties. Uh, the Luxor is really known for some really fun pool parties. I know some uh, of my friends who go to these pool parties every year, and they're always talking about it. And, uh, another reason why Luxor is a great place to stay for EDC Vegas is it's where the I Heart Raves pop-up is located. So you can get, you know, your hair braided there. You can find your last minute outfits. You can get all your accessories. You can find, you know, your cool light toys, uh, all your rave uh, accessories and gear you can buy at the I Heart Raves pop-up that's located at the Luxor. So if you're staying there, it's pretty solid because you're basically right there. Whereas some people, you know, they're having to, uh, you know, wake up from another hotel and then get ready and then drive over to Luxor. It's such a bonus for you to be right there. So especially if you want to get your hair braided, you know, and you're staying at the Luxor, you can book an appointment and, you know, you're right there. So that's a huge bonus for you. Um, finally, the Luxor uh, Hotel is one of the uh, shuttle stops, so it's perfect. You can just stay at the hotel and you can walk over to your shuttle stop. You don't have to have a huge walking distance to get to your shuttle, so it's a great choice if you are taking a shuttle. Now, now what are the cons for staying at Luxor? Well, it's 
very far from the speedway so your shuttle ride will be the farthest shuttle ride out of all the shuttle stops so when you're going to the festival or leaving to the festival you may want to account for that in your plan you know now that the shuttles aren't really starting until the festival starts you know if you're here at the luxor and you leaving on the first bus at seven o'clock you might not get to the speedway until 8 30. So that is something you might want to consider. I would suggest getting a ride share and then taking a shuttle um, back to your hotel. Uh, other cons to Luxor are, well, it's just kind of an older hotel and it's not as luxurious. So if you're looking for something more budget friendly that just has what you need, it's located to, you know, the iHeart Race pop up and you want a cool pool party, well then Luxor's for you. But if you're looking for something more luxurious, uh, more fancier, I would recommend staying at the Vidara, possibly a Resorts World, or even, of course, Paris, Las Vegas. Are you looking for something affordable to split with your friends that's also near the Vegas action? Book your hotel at the link. Or are you and your significant other looking for somewhere sexy, opulent, and chic? Choose Resorts World. Wherever you stay, make sure you book early before prices go up. So are you ready to book your hotel for EDC Las Vegas? My name is Joe and I'm your rave tour guide. Thank you for watching my top five hotels for EDC Las Vegas. Bye for now.